Hello everyone. In this video we will talk about the Lorentz force. More specifically, we will make the well-known Lorentz force formula relativistic. Everything that follows will be done in the units where the speed of light is 1. Before we get on with this task, we should identify all the terms. So, Q is the electric charge. For simplicity, let's just assume we're talking about an electron, which has a negative charge. E here is the electric field vector. The force in this case, acting on the electron, is opposite to the direction of the electric field. In the second term, we have two vectors, the velocity of the electron and the magnetic field. The cross product here tells us that the force is perpendicular to both vectors. Since these vectors are three-dimensional, they cannot be relativistic. Relativistic vectors are always four-dimensional. They are referred to as four vectors. We can fix this by assuming that this expression is only a subset of some other four-dimensional expression. But this is still not good enough. Recall that in a previous video we have established that the electric and magnetic fields are not four vectors. They are components of a four tensor, the electromagnetic tensor. So, if this quantity here is to be a 4 vector, the right hand side must also be a 4 vector. Only then will both sides transform correctly. At the moment, this side does not look like a 4 vector. We can get a clue as to what to do from the second term. First, let us write the cross product explicitly. Notice that if we focus only on this portion of the electromagnetic tensor and multiply it by the velocity 3 vector, we get the cross product with a minus sign. This tells us that the electromagnetic tensor must be a part of the answer we're looking for. Let us extend this product to include the fourth dimension. If we multiply these terms by this vector, we obtain... If we look at this term, we see that it kind of looks like the first term here, except for the factor of Vt. So how can we fix this problem? Well, changing the sign of these components to minus would definitely do it. And while we're making ad hoc changes, why not demand that this term be 1? And since we're making stuff up, let's multiply everything by the relativistic factor gamma. Recall what this object is. It is the dual 4 velocity vector. So, we find that up to the gamma factor, this expression reproduces the right-hand side of this equation for the spatial components. But what about the time component? Let's write it down. If we express it in the vector notation, like this, and write the velocity as the derivative of the position vector with respect to time, we can see that the numerator is the definition of the work done on the charge. And dividing it by time makes this whole term a rate of change of the particle's energy, or power. If we include the gamma factor, we get the change of energy per proper time. So, we can write down the time component like this, where P0 is the relativistic energy of the particle. This gives us a clue about the other components on the left-hand side. We know that the force is equivalent to the change of momentum with respect to time, so these components must be dp over dt, where p is the momentum, but this term suggests that t should be the proper time. Finally, we can write the relativistic version of the Lorentz force. Does this result make sense? Let's see. Does the left-hand side transform the same way as the right-hand side? Yes. On the left, we have a contravariant 4 vector, since tau is a scalar, and on the right, we have a contravariant tensor contracted with a covariant vector, which gives us a contravariant 4 vector. And of course, we need to know whether this formula reduces to the non relativistic Lorentz force in the low speed limit. Does it? Yes, here it is. I use the letter W for energy, since capital E has already been taken by the electric field. We get an extra equation by making everything four-dimensional, 
But since in this limit space and time are decoupled, the bottom three equations are completely independent of the top equation. And there it is, a relativistic form of the Lorentz force. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.